Guys, you're at Aquatics Galore. We're going to be assembling the Red Sea Skimmer. This is the RSK9. We've already got it unboxed here. That's another video if you guys want to watch. But all the parts and pieces are here. What you're going to want to do is there's four caps that thread this in. You're going to want to take those off, set that to the side, make sure not to lose those pieces. You've got a cap here. I really like the cap. It has a uh, cleaner built into it, so while it's on there, you can just spin it around, clean all the algae off, knocks it back in, gets it to start skim real good again. It's got a drain hose that hooks up here with an on-off shutoff valve. Really, really nice. And it's angled for you. We'll just go ahead and stab that on here while we're talking about it. It's on good enough, but I like making sure it's on as much as I can get it, which we are there now. All right. So that sits on the top. You're going to want to make sure you close it. When you're uh, setting this up, you can go ahead and open it and let it flush out clean water. Once you get it to where you want it, close it. That way the nice thick green stuff stays in there until you're ready to empty it. You can also run this into a bucket, gallon jug, whatever you want and just let it let it constantly empty itself we prefer to manually open and close that just to make sure we don't end up with any messes now this does come with a pump this is the one without the controller so this can uh, snap into the bottom here and face this way here let's just finish getting everything opened up we didn't get all that done in the other video so get it opened up get this stuff out of the way and this goes on the top got to take that screw out there and Gently separate it. There we go. Tighten that back down there. Turn that around. Now you want to make sure, and on this skimmer, they set it up to where you can't mess it up but where the water pumps up, hits the flat part, and it's notched out here. I do like that this is as simple as it gets. There are other skimmers I've installed before where I had this in a different orientation and the pump wasn't pumping correctly, and it did definitely took me a couple minutes to figure out what was going on before I was able to fix the issue. You're not gonna have that problem here. Uh, it just snaps into the plate on the bottom. And they had that on backwards. It goes this way. And the cord comes back around. That is weird that they had that on backwards. The cord comes back around and they have this that it threads through to seal up around the cord. Slide that back in flip those around. Now your cord's sealed in there, coming out so you can plug it in. This is all that gets done on the inside, so we're ready to put the cover back on the correct way, not the way they had it. The correct way here. Thread these back in, that way when we're moving it around, it stays together and we don't end up breaking anything. Really love how nice these thread into real coarse thread so they thread real quick hold really tight I put this fitting over here and there's feet that go on the bottom I'll put those on after this this is a really snug fit um, sometimes you just got to spit on it but for this we're just going to uh, thread it right into place Would have helped if I uh, put the collar on first, guys. I knew I was forgetting something, so hopefully you're watching this video before you do it, and uh, we can save you this 
additional unnecessary step here. I'm going to slide this back out of the way a little bit. Lift this back up. There is a gasket that needs to go in the pump first. It's got three notches on it for the three, I guess I'd call it prongs on the pump. Uh, they're part of the cover to help twist the cover on and off. So that needs to go on there first, so that way this can set into it. And, all right, now there's nothing else that needs done inside. Let's put these back on. There it is. So behind me, we're uh, cleaning up and restarting a uh, custom acrylic tank, and that's what we're setting all this up for. We're gonna go ahead and get the feet on here after we twist this into place now that we got the fitting inside that we need. So these just stab onto these little points on the bottom here. There's four of them, four feet. They just press on and the, uh, the acrylic pieces that are sticking out of the bottom here are kind of grooved like a dowel rod and they grip real tight into these feet. So real nice setup here. We'll go ahead and show you the mechanical workings on the bottom of this. So there's a knob here that opens and closes a chamber. I don't know if you can see it, you'll be able to get a better view of it from the bottom here. Opens and closes a chamber here. So with this fully open, all the water can just pour out of here and it's going to cause less being pushed up into the cone. And the more you restrict it, the more water that's gonna stay in the chamber and the higher the level will be. So that is the function and operation of that. We already attached the drain hose. So this guy can go on top now. This goes right in here, snaps in, and stabs straight up, or straight down, however you wanna look at it, to here. This is a drain hose. Uh, this is gonna fill up with water. I'm sure you've had this happen on your other skimmers, and go ahead and comment how annoying that is, and how much you wish it had a plug for draining it. So, um, this is gonna let air escape, or air come in. Um, this will draw air into the pump to create a lot of air in here to create the micro bubbles that pull the proteins up into the cap. And that is that is it on the assembly, guys. So real simple. And if you uh, don't mess up like me, it can go a little bit faster where you don't have to take it apart again. We got the feet on the bottom. We got everything put back together here. We got the pump hooked up, the sleeve on there, this Venturi plugged in that's going to help suck air in with the water for the right mixture to get air bubbles real large in here. So you really just want to bring your water level up to here. And it's going to take a while before those bubbles start to get real dirty. And the dirtier they get, the thicker they'll get the larger they'll get and it'll just keep pushing bubbles up through this neck and then you're going to have this nasty green skim that comes into here as that fills up you can drain it into whatever you want and dispose of it close it back up set it back down in there if uh your water's not coming out just the way you want you can control it here and get that water level right where you want it if it's better to have the water level lower than higher in the beginning and as those bubbles start to get real thick if you're noticing they're just not making it to the top you can open uh, close this up a little bit more to get more water to stay in to bring that level up just where you need it so let us know what you think of the video make sure to like comment and follow and we'll see you next time thanks a lot